So welcome back. Hopefully everybody's energized and hydrated and alert once again. Hopefully nobody ate too much. Don't fall asleep. We have some really good talk lined up right now. Um, so Ron and Liar are going to talk about their open source framework that they have developed that helps mobile apps test themselves. Thanks, Ron. So hi, everyone. My name is Lior, and joining me today, Ron. Um, we are from HP Software, what was usually, well, back some time ago, Mercury Interactive. And I want to discuss today about CAD.js, which is a new testing framework for mobile web. But before we drill down to how it works and while Ron sets up the demo, our live demo, hopefully, uh, I would like to give a little bit of an history about why we created it, what was the motivation for creating yet another testing framework. So um, it all happened when I was asked to create a new project, a new product inside HP software. That's my day job. I incubate new project. And I did what I usually do. I got budget for a small team. I assembled a small team. We called it the A team because we had four guys. And um, set a strategic direction for the product. So everything was progressing really, really nice. After a few weeks, we already we had a working MVP. And there were two major factors for having that, that product, that MVP. First, we had a killer pipeline, which enabled us to push code and experiment a lot. And the second thing is that we had a great team culture. It was based on trust, on quality, on fast feedback. Again, enable us to push code very, very fast and achieve good results. So everything was looking bright. And then we found out that we made a small mistake that most of the users will consume the product from mobile and not desktop. Well, big surprise. Um, so our designer were happy, right? They redesigned the old thing, made it responsive to support all the different form factors. The developers were happy. They got some new devices. And we start implementing the application. And then we start testing the application. And we are failing. We are stuck. We just couldn't understand what the quality of the product of the application. Too many devices, too, many too much time, uh, not enough tools. So we did most, what most engineers, good engineers do. We start to research and identify the most common frameworks out there. Um, we narrow it down to two or three and start implementing those. But what we found quite fast that we are spending, sorry, investing a lot of time. <laughs> we are investing a lot of time on the infrastructure of the test, on test, on flaky test, as a lot of people mentioned here. And at a certain point, we understood that, well, most of the time is going on the test frameworks or the test or setting up the test and not testing. It even got to a certain type point that we were developing or investing more time on the frameworks or making it work than developing the application. So we took a decision and instead of adjusting our, develop our developers to the framework, we put the developer in the center and try to enable and empower him to write tests much more easy and much more fast. So to do it, we had to overcome a few challenges. The first challenge is our developers just wanted to write tests and that it will run on any device, any operating system, any browser. They didn't want to do any, um, any configuration. Just push a code and have it run on any device, any browser, any OS. The second challenge was to make it simple, readable, and reliable. Again, flaky test, maintaining the infrastructure. They didn't want to focus on that. So we handled that. And of course, we also made the code itself, the test code, based on the same code based of the application, which in our case is JavaScript, our big believer in HTML5. That's the project. It was focused on mobile web. Third, we wanted it to fit into our existing life cycle. We had already had a good pipeline. We didn't want to change it. We didn't want to create a new standards. We wanted to, to, to stick to the existing, existing, uh, existing uh, standards like unit tests and how you report it and so on and so on. 
And last, we wanted it to be extensible and open. So if a certain developer doesn't like the assertion library that we come in our framework, you can just plug in another assertion library, and it will be very, very easy, and also enable him to add additional test type. For example, not just functional tests, but also performance tests or usability. So our architecture, which is plugin-based, enabled him to do so. So a little bit about CAD.js architecture in a very, very high level of how it works. It has three steps or three components. First, you write scrubs. This is a new approach for testing where you write your code, your test code, side by side with your code. Scrubs is small building blocks, set of functionality, which you can write and test. Once you write your test or you write your scrub, you then run CAD.js. CAD.js is based on ONGS. Basically what it does is scan your project, identify the different scrubs, inject the testing code into your application, rebuild the application as a test deployment, push it to the device, and then execute it, and of course report back to our central repository of results, if it's Jenkins or other, other CIs. So now one will demonstrate how we can have a demo in less than five minutes. Live demo in less than five minutes, I, I hope. Hi, everybody. Uh, for those who didn't catch my name, I'm Ran Sneer, and I'm one of the developers of CAD.js. Um, I want to show you an example with CAD.js that will give you a small taste of what CAD.js is all about and how easy and fast it can be sometimes to build a full automation of your mobile web application. Um, we need to switch to the slides, please. It's Can you switch back to the slides? OK. Great. Thank you. Um, but before we we'll start, we need to set up our environment. So as Leo said, CardJS is based on Node.js technology. So by simply cl clicking npm install dash g CardJS, We'll install CAD.js as a command line tool in your environment. And CAD.js, uh, we call it CAD CLI, will help you to create and execute your test uh, deployment. We have a new approach for testing. This is based on Scrap. Scrap is a small comment annotation that you need to add to your application code that will be later on in, with the CAD CLI process will be injected as a small functionality unit in your test deployment. Uh, collecting all the scraps together will create a full automation of your mobile web application. Um, this will add the ability to the application to test itself instead of other framework, as you know. Um, now, scraps are pluggable. You can use the built-in plugins that we already created for you, like the JS, Assertion if you need to test and check things. Send if you like. And the most common one is the jQuery mobile. But if you really like, you can create your own customized plugin for your own needs. But Scrap can do a lot more than regular DOM manipulation. Scrap can also manipulate JS object. As you can see, the scope of Angular JS that I think you will rec recognize that that changing from Lior Reuven to Ran Sneer in the test deployment. Now, uh, for today's event, I've created a kind of example that will show CAD.js abilities. Uh, if we can switch to the, com my computer. Great. OK. Lior talked about uh, continuous de delivery. Now, in our team, we have created a uh, application that check GPS location, but we had many trouble uh, checking that. So uh, we found a solution with CAD.js, and I created for today's event the application I am at. This is the kind of a game that you need to guess where you are while the application reveals where you really are. Now, after 24 hours of flight from Israel Tel Aviv to here, I can really relate it to that uh, because I woke up in my hotel this morning and I didn't have any clue where I am. 
So luckily, I have this application. So I know that today I'm a GTEx, so we'll click Google Kiflan and click Go. Now two maps will be revealed. One will be the guest where I think I am, and the other will show where I'm really at. So simple. Now let, uh, let's create this automation with CodeJS. So we need to add a couple of, of scrub to the application code, and uh, let's dive into our code. We have the input element. We need to set that we are at Google Kiffin. So we, I'm using the jQuery mobile plugin to set the text of the input where to Google Kiffin. Simple, first step. Now, let's create another scrap. We need to click the Go button. Now, I'm adding another uh, scrap by simply using, the again, the jQuery mobile plugin to click the Go button. Okay, I finished with that. I need to check my result. I need to check that point A, my guess, and point B is the exact same point at the exact same location. So I'm taking the scope of AngularJS with the point A and point B, and I'm using the assertion plugin with the Google Maps API. And I think that radius of five kilometers is about a correct uh, guess and the test will succeed it, otherwise it will fail. Now we need to run it. So in the meantime, when Lior um, show you, uh, explain about CutJS, I created a small mobile lab over here with few devices that you will see just now. And now we will run the test. We will see that on all the devices, also in my laptop, and we can see cut UI on the right corner that shows that it's setting the text, clicking the go button, said, okay, about the location. Sorry. Yeah, we didn't manage to do that. And now we can see that one map is okay. We see the same location. And the other two, two devices, I have bug on them. The, the GPS location is not working so well. So those results will be later on will be imported to Jenkins CI. And that's it, simple as that. Five minutes it took me, and I think it's wonderful in this uh, time. Now let's move back to the slides, and we will finish, wrap it up. Um, actually, CutJS is an open source, and we need to, your app to take um, to take uh, action in this growing community. We want you to download us from GitHub or the NPM repository, give us feedback, tell us what you need, and we will try to help you as much as we can. We have also, we given prices this month uh, for selected application with CutJS. So try us out and thank you for listening. Great talk. Thank you so much. Um, do we have any like questions in the audience? And thanks for your hotspot, right? <laughs> Hi. Uh, it's a great uh, test automation tool. I think uh, I have a few questions that I wrote down while doing the presentation. Uh, so doesn't the code base increase the size of the whole application, given that it is running on the device. So I'm writing down my uh, code and in, uh, embedding the application, embedding my test automation, right? right? So doesn't it increase the size of the, given that it is running on the device itself? It, it's annotation based. And before production, for example, I think that's the, 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 the might be the, the problem part. We can minify it, we can take it out. But it's like adding comments to your code which isn't so good, okay. so, so bad, you know. Usually, you, you want the <laughs> test to, to, to reflect what the code is doing. Yeah, so. in general, we have test code separate than the dev code, like the all production code, so that's why I'm asking this. And there is also a second option that you don't have, we had a feedback before, so there is also the possibility to do it outside of your code. Okay. So there is that conf configuration. Um, you know, it's just a new approach, that's what we are feeling. Yeah. It, it worked for us to have the code, the test code and the code side by side. 
uh, that thought for us. Okay. And is there any way to actually, uh, when the code, code is being shipped, then take out the code automatically, yeah. or is it like yeah. no, no, we have can to take it outside? Okay. And so when it is problem. Uh, when you minify your project, all the annotation moving. Yeah. So. And why it is restricted to devices only? I it's mean, not. It's, it's not. not. It's not. Mobile web. Your, your but demo it, was on device, so that's yeah, why I was uh, I think that, that wh why we created it, it's because we had problem with mobile web. Okay. It will work on, on web. I think that in most cases, the, the automation in web is commoditized already. There are a lot of frameworks. So already a lot of switches that are running. And I don't think that people should change that and rewrite all the tests. Okay. Okay. But having new stuff for developers or something which is much more easy or agile and simple, I think that's the direction to take. And the last one is, uh, you mentioned a URL for the GitHub. Is it like go there and do what? I mean, is this? You just download it, like Grant said, and start NPM using it. Dot, yeah. install, and that's it. Okay. Any ID, anything. Okay. Any is open. it to integrate with current application? Is it like e easier or difficult? Are there any steps to follow to integrate this tool into current applications? To current applications, should be simple. That a lot of focus that we had, uh, not changing your ecosystem, but just fitting it into the existing one. Okay. Uh, so and and that's, that's where you are. You okay. just saw the steps, so simple, okay. five minutes. Okay. All right, cool. Thanks. That's Thanks. Thank you.